Hey guys, in this tutorial, I show you how to convert bitmap images into vector drawings. One of the new features of Anime Studio Pro 8 is the ability to import images into the program and then trace the image. What this allows you to do is take a bitmap image and convert it into a vector graphic. So that way, you can manipulate it like any other drawing in Anime Studio. This is good if you like to draw in other programs or if you like to draw on paper and scan your drawings in. Before this feature, it was harder to animate and work with images because, well, they were bitmap images. But now with the ability to transform them into vector graphics, you have a lot more options open up to you as far as creating images in other programs. So to demonstrate this, let's import an image into Anime Studio. I have one ready to go that I just quickly created in another program, in Flash actually. But if I go to File, Import, Image, I can locate an image that I have made. In this case, I will choose this one right here. And the image is now in Anime Studio. And you can tell that it is, of course, an image, mainly because of the image layer on the Layers dialog box. Now, I want to convert this into a vector graphic. So to do this, I go to Draw, Trace Image. Now, from here, you have some options to deal with. You can bring this vector in as a black and white outline or you can choose to retain the color. But as you can see, it doesn't sometimes retain all the details, but you can adjust this to try to get the details as best as you can. But of course, as you can see, it doesn't quite retain all of the colors that I have. Or you can try photo edges, which allows you to grab the edges of a photo and bring them in. I usually have the best luck with the black and white setting, but that's because I'm bringing in drawings that are very um, detailed as far as lines are concerned. The heavier your lines, the more luck you'll have with this feature. And I can set the threshold. So the lower I put the threshold, the uh, less fill color I have come into play. And of course, if I put it all the way to the, um, the beginning, it completely deletes the image. And of course, the more I have, the more detail it brings in. So if I put it to right about here, that looks about right. I now have the outlines of the lines and I can then fill in later the colors that I did not bring in. You can have the detail reduction. Of course, as you move this up, it reduces the details of the trace and you can fatten the lines up if you wish, which of course just makes the lines bigger. So once you've played around with these options, click OK. And now your image has been converted into a vector shape. You'll see that you still have your image on your layers property box, but now it's just been hidden. It's been turned off, so you don't have to worry about it. If you want it to come back, you simply click the hide button to bring it back if you wish. But we'll just, of course, leave that hidden for right now. Now, with this, you have the ability to manipulate this as you would any other drawing in Anime Studio. As you can see, it's made up of a bunch of points. So if I were to take my Translate Points tool and click on a point and drag, I could, of course, extend this out and manipulate it in various different ways. So those are just some things to keep in mind when manipulating your drawings. From here, what I could do is take the Paint Bucket tool come over here to my swatches and choose colors and start filling in the details that are lacking from the trace. So I could fill in the arm, the neck, the face, the nose, and so forth. And I could keep going in that fashion until I have fully recreated the image that I um, have brought in to Anime Studio. So that is just a very basic example of what this can do. 
Now, when it comes to using the bone tool with this, you might have a little bit of trouble because your arm, for instance, is very much tied to your torso. It's not a separate layer. So what you might want to consider doing is bringing in images that are separate from each other. So you could bring in an arm image, you could bring in a torso image, a neck, head, and so on, and then piece those together after tracing them onto separate layers. That way you could use the bone tool to manipulate the vector drawings as you would in any other fashion when working in Anime Studio. Anyway, that wraps up this lesson. I hope you guys found it helpful and I'll see you next time.